In the previous chapter about document types, I briefly mentioned that you can use multiple templates on your content notes. You might sometimes need to have a secondary view for some of your content. In this video, I'll show you how to create alternative templates and how to assign and use them on your content. First, the agenda. I'll start by introducing you to the concept of alternative templates, then we'll create one and choose which document type to use it. Finally, we'll test it out on our content. All set? Let's do it. So what are alternative templates? Well, in short, an alternative template is the option to have more layout options for your content. Options that you can easily switch between. Your document types will in most cases have a default template already. From the templates menu on your document types, you can add alternative templates to give your editors more choices on how the front end should look. Sounds simple enough, right? I can assure you that it is. And it's really useful if you need to add a temporary view to one of your content pages that you can easily switch to and from. So let's set one up. We have our Umbraco back office open here and we'll go into the settings section. Down here, we'll click on the three little dots next to templates and select create. Now you can call this template whatever you want. I'll call this one alt template just for simplicity's sake. I'll just add some static HTML to it for now. So let's say an h1 tag, hello world, and maybe a paragraph tag down here saying this is an alternative template. All right, and that's it. So we'll go ahead and save it. Now we have our alternative template ready, but right now it's not used anywhere. Let's do something about that. Let's say we wanted to give our content editors the option of using this template when they set up content using the text page document type. So in order for us to do that, we need to add the template to the document type. So let's find the document types up here and pick the text page one. And in the templates menu, which you can find here in the top right, as you can see here, we already have the default template, which is called text page the template that was generated automatically when the document types was created. And over here, we can choose an extra template. Now, this is why we want to choose our new alternative template. So I'll click here and select our new template. Now let's save the document type and our content editors will now have the option to use this new template. So how does that work exactly? Well, let's have a look. Let's go to the content section again. And we'll select one of our content nodes that's using the text page document type. So we'll go with the about us. And as I showed you in the beginning of this chapter, the option to change templates are in the info menu. So we'll go here and in the template drop down here, it will now give us two options. We can choose the text page template or we can use the alternative templates, which we just created. Now, currently it is the default template that's selected, which makes the front end look like this. Now let's try to switch to our alternative template. So in the drop down, I'll select our alternative template. I'll hit save and publish and let's check out how the front end looks now. And we'll now see that it has a very different look. Back in the back office, you can easily switch back to the default template again. Very, very simple, right? Of course, this template doesn't have much to it at the moment, but I hope you get the point about how easy it is to switch templates on your content. Let's just switch this back to the default template again. So we'll pick text page, save and publish, and let's refresh once more. And we're back to our original structure. And that was it for this video. Let's do a quick review. We learned how we can give our content editors the option to choose between multiple layouts for the content. It's easy to set up and very useful for creating temporary views. In the next video, we'll go a bit further and looking into some of the more advanced features that are available to you when working with templates in Obraco. I'll see you there.